kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part seven of my video series on background video player using Exo Player using Android Studio. All right, guys. So in our previous part of the video, we had done the on-click uh, on-click listener of the uh, recycler view adapter, and then we we created the new activity that will that was the video player activity, and then we sent the URI of the video, and then we received the uh, URI of the video inside our video player activity, and we set it to our video URI. All right. So now what we are going to do is we are now going to play the video. So in order to play the video, first of all, we need to set up the Exo Player. So for that, we need to use the Player View of the Exo Player. So we can say Player View, and we need to set it to Match Parent and Match Parent. And then we need to use. Okay, so here we can set the ID of it to be player view. Okay, so there you can see that we have this uh, player view and use default. Okay, so I think that is enough. So this player view we can. Uh, bind it so for this we can say bind view r dot id dot player view and there we can say player view player view all right so that is uh, then we need to use the button knife dot bind and then we need to pass in this and then we can say uh, now we need to initialize the exo player so in order to uh, to initialize it first, it first of all we need to use a bandwidth uh, bandwidth meter. Then we need to tr use the track selector for this bandwidth, and then we can easily click create the simple uh, exo player, and then we can play the video. So there are certain steps which need to be done. So first of all we need to use the track selector. and track selector make sure that you use this track selector then we can say equal to new default track selector and then here inside this we can say new adaptive track selector selection dot factory and then we can pass in the the bandwidth so for this we need to create first of all the bandwidth meter and then we name it as bandwidth meter equal to new default bandwidth meter all right and then we can pass in this bandwidth meter inside this factory here and we have this track selection and then we can say we have this exo player uh, we have this object exo player and then we can say here exo player equals to exo player factory dot new simple instance and then we can say this and track selector okay so we have this inside our exo player and then we need to use the default extract Factory. So for this, we can say okay. So here, let's say extractor factory, and we name it as extractors factory. And then we need to use extractor factory equals to new default extractors factory. And then we can simply write a method that will play the video. So we say play video, and that is it. Okay, and there inside this play 
video so there we can say string uh, player info equals to util dot get user agent and make sure that you write this of this current activity context and then we need to specify the application name and that will be mini or you can say video player all right so now we have this player info then we need to use a data source factory because we need to fetch the data source factory so for this we can say default data source factory then we say data source factory equals to new default data source factory then we say this and the player info all right and then we can use the media source so for this we can say media source media source equal to new extractors media source and there we need to pass in the video uri then we need to pass in the data source factory then we need to use the extractor factory and finally we need to use the event handler for this then we simply need to say null and null okay but you know this is the deprecated uh, it is now deprecated but so we need to check which is the which is the method that is the latest one so here we can say media source Extractor media source is then use progressive progressive media source instead of extracted media source. Okay, so we can use this progressive media source for this. progressive media source and let's try to change the the version of the exo player to 2.10.0 so we can say 2.10.0 and then we click on sync now and let's see if it compiles successfully or not Alright, so it says that you, we need to set the minimum SDK version to 16 or so we can say 21. Alright, all right, so now I guess it will work fine. Okay, so it's the Android X, so we need to use the previous one 2.7.3 and i will be doing the video for all of these things okay i mean for all the uh, deprecated methods i will create a new video and do all these things all right so for now let's just 
remove this so we can say extracted factory sorry extractor media source okay so i will do that later and then for now uh, and then we need to now set the video uh, the media source so for this we can say player view dot set player so we need to first of all set the player to where is the exo player so we can say exo player and then we can even need to prepare for the exo player so for the exo player we can say dot prepare and now we need to pass in the media source here all right and and now the media source is prepared if we want to play the video uh, so for this we can simply say exo player dot set play when ready and we need to uh, pass in this true okay so if uh, for in order to play the video we use this set play when ready to true and if we want to pause the video so we say set play when ready false okay and make sure that you use the try and catch block so in case if there is any exception so that the app doesn't crash so that is it now we cut it and paste it here and yes all right so now we have this uh, media player activity class so let's try to run our app and let's see if we are able to play the video or not so here is the recap of this video so we what we did is we integrated the exo player so here you can see we use the player view of the exo player library then we initialize this exo player inside our video player let me show you with the video player activity then we set we received the values in our previous video then we use the bandwidth meter then we use the track selector for the initialization of this exo player then we created the method play video so now all the video the video will be played and i was trying to solve this uh, deprecated uh, this uh, deprecated method but i will do that later in my last video so that all the all the methods are up to date and they are not deprecated all right so now our application is going to install on our, on our application mobile phone so let's say let's see and yes now the application is installed and there you are able to see all the videos so if i want to play a video so there you can see that the exo player is running the video so if i click on pause so you can see that it is now paused and yes all right so if i go back so you so now you see that the video is still being played if we click on back so how to handle this so in order to handle this what we are going to do is we are going to use on pause method and there we need to use the exo player dot set play when ready to false and also on stop or we can say on back press then here we can also need to say exo player dot set play when ready to false and yes okay so that's how you handle it and also we need to make sure that only one instance of exo player should be running because in some of the mobile if we if we if we click on any video then we go back and then uh, click on the video again so now the exo player exo player will not work okay so i will be also be uh, teaching you on how you can cater this issue so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye